Hi guys, this will be your video on how to mix up Menapur. So your Menapur is not a refrigerated medication. So it'll come in a box like this. In this box, there'll be two boxes inside, one like this and one like this. So these are the Q caps. These are an apparatus that is used to help mix the medication, okay? In this actual Menapur box, there will be 10 vials five will be the actual medicine and five will be fluid sodium chloride water saline whatever you want to call it so the actual medicine <clears throat> is this little vial it says menopur on it and it has a peach cap okay that's the actual medicine depending on what your dose is you are either going to use one of these or two of these. I will let you know. So on your protocol paper, it'll either say one vial of Menopur or two vials of Menopur. <clears throat> okay, so if you're one vial of Menopur, what you're going to have in front of you is the actual Menopur with the peach cap, a bottle of saline, okay? In this bottle, there's two cc's of fluid. You're only going to be drawing out one unless we tell you otherwise. So there will always be leftover fluid in here. You do not need to save it. You can throw it right out, okay? <clears throat> so you will have those two. You will have a 27 gauge half inch needle. You will have a three cc syringe with no needle attached to it, okay? And then your Q cap. All of your IVF medications <clears throat> that are injectable medica medications are going into your subcutaneous skin. So that's under your skin into fatty tissue. So that can go anywhere around your belly, stay away from your actual belly button. Okay, so stay like an inch away from your belly button, go outside of that. So anywhere on your belly, you can go on the side to your love handles, you can go on the side of your thigh, okay? So wherever there should be fatty tissue, okay? When you go to do this, you wanna have clean hands and have a clean area, okay? The first thing you're going to do is start with the fluid vial, okay? You're gonna flip that cap right off. You're gonna take the Q cap. You're gonna peel this off or it comes in another way also. You're gonna peel that off. You're gonna take the vial and the Q cap and just push them right together, okay? It's like a little hat. Once you have that on, you're gonna take this plastic part Okay, make sure the Q cap is on good. Then you're gonna take your three cc syringe. You're gonna open that up. You are going to draw up one cc of air. Now you can see on here, there's a one with a darker line, a uh, thicker line, excuse me. You're gonna go up to that, okay? You're gonna put the air in the syringe. You're gonna take this syringe with air and twist it on to the Q-cap, just like that, okay? You're gonna turn it upside down. You're going to push the air into the, um, all into the vial, and then you're gonna pull out past the one. If there's any tiny air bubbles there, you could tick them out, and then you're just gonna push up to that one, okay? Once you have your one cc of fluid, you are going to hold the syringe and then just pull this glass vial straight off, leaving the Q-cap on, okay? So the vial comes on and off very easily. You have the one cc of fluid in here. You're gonna to go to your Menapur vial, which is, again, it says Menapur on it, has a peach cap and it has a chunk of powder in it, okay? You're gonna take that cap off. You're going to push the Q-cap onto the vial, okay? You're going to inject all of the fluid in and you're gonna swirl it gently. Do not shake it give it nice little swirls as if you're swirling uh, coffee or something, okay? You're gonna swirl that around, let it mix. It mixes fairly quickly. It will be clear just like water. You're gonna turn this upside down. If there's any air in the syringe, you're gonna push all of that air in, and then you're gonna pull everything out until you have your own air line there, okay? So you'll have a chunk of air at the top that's perfectly fine. You're then gonna twist off the Q-cap and the vial together. Okay, and you're gonna take the needle and you're going to twist that on, okay? If there's any air bubbles in this, again, you're going to tick the syringe and then just pull back just a little bit because medicine will shoot up to the tip of the needle, okay? Now you have your mixed medicine in here, you have your needle top on, but you have your air still here. So you're gonna take off this cap and then you're just gonna push up slowly 
till you get your own bead of fluid at the tip of the needle, okay? Now this one is ready to go. So what you're going to do is take one of your alcohol swabs, you're going to clean the skin, let it dry. You don't wanna stick a needle through skin that's wet with alcohol, it'll just burn a little bit more, okay? So all you're gonna do is pinch the cleaned skin. You're just gonna go straight in and then push down on the plunger so all the medication's in, and then you're just gonna pull it straight out. And that is your Benefier.